Okay, welcome to Modular 4 and in this particular module we're going to be looking for click banking partners and uh, how do we approach them, uh, what's the particular method or is an easier way is first to who do we avoid uh, I think this is more important, who do we avoid I have a golden rule. Anyone who contacts you and wants you to go first, you avoid. Just you know, write this down in stone. Anyone that contacts you and wants you to go first, avoid them. Uh, unless you have a relationship with them or anything, but if you, a stranger approaches you and wants you to go first, just don't do it. You'll get burnt um, every single time. That to me is my golden rule. Um, here's a guy that I warned one of the groups that I'm in to avoid and, uh, and it's more of an exercise to show you how not to contact anyone. Uh, I think that's actually more important. So I got this uh, message, um, a friend request, a PM message from a Stephen Corey and the message read, I saw you were looking to bank some clicks and was wondering can you send first. And this was strange, you know. I know I don't. I never do this. I asked him where he saw this message, and you know, where was I looking to bank some flicks? And he said in the CB testing group. I looked for that page, and there was no such thing. I asked him for the link to that page. Nothing. Total silence. This this is scary when people approach you and they're they're, they're trying to scam you. Um, so what I'm going to do is give you an example, uh, and this is how I, you know, I showed other people how to avoid this one because this is they can do a lot of damage in the industry. Let's go over to the Facebook page and have a look at Stephen Corey's page. This is his Facebook page, and when anyone clicks with you or wants to click bank with you, I always go to their uh, Facebook page and have a look. Uh, partners who can send first. Uh, ignore all these face friends uh, that you've got here, anyone can do that, but this is what I'm looking at here. Partners who can send first, partners who can send first, you know, this is just, I will send you 20% back, yeah, for sure. I believe you, no I don't. Um, so if you have a look at his page, it's, it's just, you know, someone's just set this up and he's just wanting people to send in clicks and some people would fall for this, I don't want you. Have a look at uh, Sia. Um, I've clicked back with him. This is his Facebook page. As you can see, it's a more of a genuine Facebook page. Um, there's there's clips. There's a picture of him, and you can actually see that. There's comments here. People talking backwards and forwards, and yeah, it looks more of a, a genuine page. So again, uh, beware of anyone that contacts you first and wants you to go first. Nearly all click banking is now done on Facebook. Uh, there are a number of different groups. These are the three main ones, top tier click banking, click bank testimonials in caps, and click banking testimonials. Let's go over to Facebook and have a look at these click banking pages. This one's click bank testimonial. Um, so people come here and they you know, place their testimonials with their click bank, Brandon Sean there. You click bank with someone. Uh, Jessica with Karen there, Karen there, and there's the results there. And what I do is I go over to these pages and I have a look, and I'm looking for someone to click bank. Um, here's Katie, Katie Bright, Bart Bird or something. She clicked bank with Mo. Um, you know, there's her opt-in rate. Looks quite good. Um, I would actually copy her name, go to the top, paste it in here and it will show you all the entries for Katie in this particular group. And as you can see, she's, uh, she's ClickBank with a number of different people and she's actually ClickBank herself. Um, there she is there, good opt-in rates, good tier. Um, there she is there, she's actually ClickBank with other people. So it's going backwards and forwards and that's what you want to see. You want to see activity. And uh, to me, amazing results, good results there. Uh, with David, uh, with John Campbell. Um, oh, there's me, Duncan Flint. Oh, that's interesting. Let's have a look at that one. Get that one to come up. Oh, there's going a bit weird again. Just hold on. Let me just fix it. It's clicking backwards and forwards. There we go. We'll get it up. Just wait. All right, Duncan Flynn. Um, I click bank and I center an opt-in rate of 62.6%. That is amazing. That's what a, a good funnel can generate. 
an incredible opt-in rate. All right, it's not going to happen every single time, but when it does, it's it's beautiful, and just shows you what's actually possible there. Um, so you know, you can see Katie is an example. Let's have a look at Deepak here. Uh, I clicked bank with him, and again, I just wanted to show you this is my Click Magic stats, and it shows you I got actually 68% of clicks that uh, I sent to him to his particular squeeze page. All right, uh, what we're going to do now, Katie's there would be someone that we could approach. We could say, right, let's have a look at her Facebook page. Here's her Facebook page. Uh, I could friend her or send a message. Personally, I'd just like to send a private message to her. And I'll show you in a minute exactly what I would say to her. So we've done looking at that. Let's have a look at uh, the next picture. Once we've found two or four potential click banking partners, we're going to send them a private message. And here's just a special tip. This whole business is a cut and paste business. You'll be cutting and pasting again. Do not have to retype every single thing again and again and again. It's a cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. And you'll realize that. So you know, just set up a standard Word document for every piece of communication that you have with your click banking. Just set it up and make sure you date, time, stamp, every communication that you have. If something goes wrong, you know exactly what happens. It gets confusing once you've got about 50 click banking partners, what you've done. Always communicate when you first contact them, when you finish, when you're getting a bit behind, when you receive clicks on them, and when you do a testimony. Everything has to be documented in that particular document. Here's an example of some of the standard documentations that I have. Uh, first time approach uh, to a click banking partner, I uh, date time stamp that. If you're not sure what a date time stamp is, here's a Word document. Go into a Word home, go into this particular tab called insert, scroll over to this little funny thing here and there is a date time stamp. Hit OK, bang. And there is a date time stamp of when you actually did the next part of your communication with that person. You just write down below that what you're actually doing or what's actually happening. All right? Um, first time approach, just starting, I saw your name in ClickBank testimonial Facebook and would like to ClickBank with you. I am just starting out in the IM niche and mainly building my list by ClickBanking and solo ads. I'm happy to go first and look after you. If you would like to do business with me, please send me a tracking link thanking you. Can you see how that's a better approach than just saying to someone, you, you send first, it's never going to work. But if you say, oh, I'm happy to go first, this particular wording, this document is going to help you. Once we have a click banking partner, we're going to look after them and, and give them a great testimonial. And how do we look after them? How do we do that? Here, I can see you're quizzing up there. We over deliver and we give a high tier one, plus we make sure they get a good opt in rate. When we set up our click banking partner in the Click Magic Rotator, we can nominate the amount of over delivery, plus we can specify the percentage of tier one. So you can over deliver and, lately, and what I've been doing is asking for the, the click banking partners tracking public tracking stats so I can actually see as it's going along how I'm actually looking after them. All right, uh, and This is very powerful, makes your job a lot easier. Okay, that's it for Modular 4 and we can now go on to Modular 5.